Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Rome. And today I have a special treat for you. We're going to do chapel inside our sanctuary here at Emmanuel. And we're going to look at pictures of Jesus. Let's see if we can find pictures of Jesus in our sanctuary. So there's the first one. And if I turn directly behind me, there's another one at the very top. Do you see it in our stained glass? I see a portrait of Jesus right in the center. And so today we're going to look at our stained glass windows. They're so beautiful, especially with the light shining through them. Here's a picture of Jesus walking on water. Here's a picture of Jesus praying in the garden before he was crucified. Here's a picture of Jesus teaching to the people. The Bible verse listed on this one says, Blessed are they that have heard the word of God and keep it. Here's a picture of Jesus knocking on the door. In the book of Matthew it says, Knock and the door will be open to you. On the other side here, we have Jesus the Good Shepherd. Here's one of my favorite windows. It's Jesus blesses the children. And here's a window, the woman at the well and she meets Jesus. So we have lots of stained glass windows with Jesus. But our biggest window is right here. And guess who's not in this picture? Do you see Jesus? No. Jesus is not in this window, but do you know why? It's because this is a picture of the empty tomb. And the women came to the tomb on Easter morning and they found it was empty. And they met the angel who said, he is risen. He is not here. Alleluia. That's what Easter is all about. Jesus came to earth to teach us and to show us God's love. And then he died on the cross to take away our sins. Three days later, he rose again and went to heaven to prepare a place for us. And that's why this is the most important window of them all the window where Jesus is not here because he is risen. Alleluia. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of windows here at Emmanuel's historical sanctuary. This church was built in 1923. So these windows have been here a very, very long time, along with this altar. So boys and girls, remember, Jesus loves you. And even if he is not in the tomb, which is a good thing, he is with you always. Bye-bye for now.